I absolutely love my DigiRig USB audio interfaces. They work amazing. But I just bought a new MacBook Air for portable ham radio so I can further rid myself of everything Windows and I don't have to use my crappy $60 laptop that Frank broke anymore. But the problem is, on a Mac, the DigiRig has really hot audio. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have my uh, Yaesu 818 plugged in with the DigiRig on my MacBook Pro here. And you can see this meter right here is really, really hot. Not really decoding many signals on the waterfall very well. And you can see here my input volume is way down. It's at like 2%. So you basically can't adjust it. Now it's off and we have nothing. And if we move just one tiny bit over, it is completely overloading the front end. But the DigiRig has a built-in 20 dB attenuator that's really easy to turn on. And all we need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a really sharp knife. So let's hop over on the bench and get to attenuating. All right, so the first thing we have to do is unscrew these four screws. And we can remove that plate and slide the board out of the housing. Now we want to go to the back side of the DigiRig and we can see all of these pads and traces and things and our point of interest is right here where it says ATT. So what we need to do is scrape away that little black trace in between these pads because right now they're connected. We need to disconnect those. Now if we take our meter and check continuity we can see we do in fact have continuity between those pads. So we need to get rid of that. And all we need is our friend, the razor blade. So we're gonna scrape away that black trace there and be very careful while doing it. It helps to kinda just go lightly at first and kind of put a little more pressure down. We want to get down to the fiberglass PCB. Come at an angle sometimes. Really get in there. Let's see if that did it. That's it. Now we don't have any continuity there. Now, if for some reason you want to revert back to turning the attenuator off, all you need to do is just put a solder blob on top of those pads and that will reconnect them and essentially turn the attenuator off. Now we can go ahead and reassemble our DigiRig. Go ahead and slide the circuit board back in, take our cover, put it on, and screw the screws back in. Now let's go hook it back up to the computer and see what our levels look like. So take a look at this, wow, immediate results. We can see we're in the green now. We're still a little high at 70 dB or so. I like to keep it around 60, but now we have a little bit of play with our input volume slider. I think I'm still gonna leave it way down there, uh, but look at all these signals we're seeing that we weren't seeing before. So that did the trick, and now I can play FT8 with my 818, and I also have a DigiRig for my Zygu G90. And uh, I can use my Mac now and never use a Windows computer again for portable ham radio. So there we are, quick and easy. That might take you, uh, if it takes you five minutes, you're probably taking your time. Quick, easy fix for getting your Mac to play nice with the DigiRig. My name is Mike K at MRD. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube 73.